Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw an awareness ribbon and because it's October I'm going to be drawing mine for breast cancer. This drawing has also inspired me to draw more symbols for you so definitely look out for them this coming week. Now let's get started on our first symbol. To draw an awareness ribbon we're going to first start by drawing a curve right here for the top of our ribbon. So our first shape we're basically aiming to draw kind of like an upside down drop of water. So we have a nice round curve and then I'm going to bring it to a point. So I'm just going to round this off on both sides. So I'm just going to slowly build this back and forth. And the most important thing I want to do is to find my center right here and bring it straight down. So I'm just going to say about that much. I'm just going to give myself a point nice and centered because this will determine the direction of your ribbon. So I'm just going to bring this curve right down to my point. So just try to make it as center as possible. So let's start with that and then we're going to come to the side right here and draw a slight angle line. So this is going to be the beginning of our ribbon on both sides. So it's going to be the beginning of our loop and tail. Now before we finish that, let's come in here and we're going to draw a curve. So this curve is going to determine how thick your ribbon is going to be. So I'm just going to say about right here. I'm just going to give myself a point and go right across. So I'm just kind of following my top. So this is how thick my ribbon is. So this part right here is going to be approximately the same width as that. So let's bring this down. So about this much. I'm just going to follow this curve. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So about right there, I'm going to start to bring it in. So everything is really even. So with this curve right here, I'm going to start to draw a tail that comes down. So bring this angle continuing. And we're just going to go right past. This is all up to you how long you want your tail to be. Now we can go ahead and just follow that top line. So now we can go ahead and draw this side. So it's exactly the same thing. And so this is going to come right through. Just imagine it coming right through. And let's go ahead and finish this side first. This is all up to you how long you want to make your tail. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And about right there, I'm going to kind of follow this angle right here to finish it off. So say about right there, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. There. Okay, so now to go and draw the other side. So I'm just going to come right through about right here. So once again, everything is kind of centered if you notice. When it's centered, your point. I'm just slowly dragging my ribbon down. If you need to fix your angles, just go ahead. Just make sure it's one continuous line. So I'm right there. And I'm going to use this as my end point now. So just drag this point across. So about right here is where I'm going to end. And I'm going to drag this point across. About right there. With these two points, I'm going to go ahead and connect. There. All done. <laughs> I hope I made that a bit easier for you to draw. So like I said, just make sure you have this one little upside down teardrop first, nice and centered, and then everything else kind of flows together. Okay, so the basic element is done with this ribbon. I'm going to be drawing some butterfly wings, but because I don't want to use a Sharpie, uh, I'm going to be using a color marker to do it because the ribbon is the main point in this drawing. So 
let's get started in coloring. So with this ribbon, I've decided to add some butterfly wings to make this drawing extra pretty. So I'm going to come right here. I'm just going to go ahead and use my marker, color marker of pink. And I'm just going to start by right here and I'm going to draw some butterfly wings. And I don't want to use my Sharpie because I don't want this part too dark, too harsh. So I'm just going to go up and then bring it back down, right back to where it kind of started. And from this point right here, I'm just going to come down and give myself a point so it's nice and even. Then this side, I'm just going to come out. Just a basic butterfly wing. Come out. So it's about the same. And just bring it right back in. A little curve. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here and just thicken it up a little bit just to give it some volume. So the edges are going to be a little bit thicker and then it tapers in. So I really hope this inspires you to draw your own ribbon however you like. You can give it angel wings or butterfly wings, whatever you like. Okay, so something like that. And then now to draw the other side, which is the hardest part. So I'm just going to give myself points right here to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to come right across just like the other side. Just like the other side, right about here. And now I'm going to go up. So don't worry if this is not exactly the same. It won't be. We just want it approximately. So you can give yourself as many points as you need if you really care about it being almost the same. Let's bring this point. So we just want to drag the top, say, let me bring this up a little bit more. So the idea how far to go, about right there. I'm going to drag this point across. So say about right here, I'm just going to stop and curve in. From there, I know this part is going to be about right here because it's in the center of these two points. So I'm just going to give myself a point. I'm going to use that and just bring a curve back down. It's just a little bit easier. So then now let's draw this side. It's going to come down and approximately in this area, just like the other side. I'm going to round it off. So it's about the same, so drag this point across, see about right there, and connect there. And now it's the same thing, let's go back in here and thicken the points. Okay, there I have my two butterfly wings in and if you like you can even add a heart right here So I'm going to do that right now right in the center Just a small little heart Okay, so now that that's all done, let's go ahead and color it more with the ribbon here
So there, I hope you love how this awareness ribbon turned out and make sure to look out for more symbols uh, this week. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.